Since joining the Action Force team, I've been on many exciting adventures. Although sometimes the guys don't treat me that well, I know they're only kidding. In my country, I led the entire military coup that put my father into power. Until two months later, there was another coup, and my father was beheaded, and they put his head on the stake next to a churro stand at our national cockfighting ring. Which, by the way, is a very beautiful place for cocks to fight. But it's a very sad place for me now. I know that maybe this story sounds very stereotypical, but I assure you, my friend, these things, they do happen. And the churros in my country, oh, they're amazing. You would enjoy one, even if eating it next to your father's severed head. The Green Ranger man, he yells a lot, and once he shot me in the leg by accident, but it's okay. He hired my sister-in-law to clean his house. He's a good man. My Mr. Jungle is another story, though. He is very much a handful to keep out of trouble. He enjoys the senoritas very much, but he also very much enjoys showing his private parts to people in elevators around the post. I do the very much covering up for him, sending flowers, writing emails, explaining that he is a hero. And sometimes being a hero involves displaying your privacy in public. Finally, the Mr. Snowman is my favorite member of the team. He is always making the funnies and cracking me up. He no like racism though, and is not afraid to shoot people in the characuas. And if you don't know what a characua is, trust me, you do not want to be shot there. I am a proud member of this team, and hopefully everyone will learn my name soon. I don't mind so much the jungle calling me Chavez y Chavez. Young Guns 1 and 2 were pretty good movies, but when they call after me saying housekeeping, housekeeping, it makes me sad a little bit. And I start to understand why Mr. Black Snowman shoots people in the characuas. <laughs> <laughs>